Hello, my name is AJ Cruz. I'm a CCIE routing and switching candidate and the senior network engineer for a fast food chain. In this segment, we're going to create a compound frame relay switch. So the scenario is, I'm building a, f a physical CCIE study lab. I have all the necessary routing chassis to match my favorite training vendor's topology. However, I don't have a router with enough physical serial interfaces to make a frame switch. But what I do have are a couple of routers that if somehow combined would satisfy the interface requirements. The combination of these two routers into a sort of virtual frame switch is what we call a compound frame relay switch. The process is actually quite simple. We're going to we're going to do this in three quick and easy steps. First, we're going to establish basic IP connectivity between our two frame switches. We're going to Number two, overlay a GRE tunnel across these two uh, routers. And then third, we're going to add our frame relay configs. And with that, I'll jump right into step one. We're going to establish, establish basic IP connectivity between these two routers. And I've got them connected in GNS3 via fast Ethernet interface. So we're just going to use the 10.0.0 network. Go over to router 4, do the same. And let's seal the deal with a ping. And that's it for step one. So now step two, we're going to overlay a GRE tunnel across this. So let's create a tunnel zero interface. And our tunnel source will be our fast ethernet. And our tunnel destination will be the other side of that fast ethernet connection. And in this particular case, we don't really need to uh, assign an IP address to our tunnel, tunnel interfaces since we're going to be uh, the operations that will be using that tunnel interface are going to be called out by the actual interface name so we don't need uh, to route to them by IP address tunnel interfaces came up we're up, up. We're up, up on this end. And that is step two. Now for step three, we're going to add our frame relay configurations. So I'm going to start out by just doing a frame relay switching on both routers. Now, taking a look at our topology here, Notice that we're going to, from R1, the endpoint R1, we're going to use uh, DELC 102. And then from endpoint 2, router 2, we're going to use DELC 201. So I'm going to move to that serial interface on router 3. I'm going to enable frame relay encapsulation. Set my frame relay interface type to DCE. Now here is where we get into our frame relay route commands. Now under normal circumstances, we would do DELC 102, route it to a serial interface, and then set the other DELC the, for the other side of this PVC. However, because we're going to be building a compound frame relay switch, and because we're going to be sending this traffic over a tunnel instead of uh, out a local uh, physical interface, we're actually going to use the tunnel interface command here. And what's interesting is some people might be, be thinking, you know, why, why do I really need the tunnel interface? I've got these two routers directly connected. What's the difference sending it over a tunnel as opposed to the physical interface? Well, our, our frame release switches don't 
have to be back to back and in fact if we take a look at this interface command we'll notice that we, we're very limited in what we can put here so either we're looking at a serial interface or a tunnel interface and then finally I'm going to add the Delsi on here and this is where it's a little bit different from the traditional frame relay configuration instead of doing 201 I've got to on one side of my tunnel basically uh, replicate the Delsi information over to the other router so I started with 102 and I'm going to end this command with 102 so again we're basically we're basically uh, replicating this Delsi over to the other router now I'm going to go over to router 4 and into my serial interface set my encapsulation set my interface type to DCE I'm going to set my route and on this side I'm going to do 201 tunnel interface tunnel 0 and on this side of it I'm going to do just like a traditional frame relay route configuration where I start off with 201 and route it over to 102 via the tunnel interface and that's it for step 3 we'll do a final verification by configuring the endpoints themselves so I'm on router 1 now Oh, real quick before I do that I'm going to go to my serial interfaces and no shut them pop over to the R1 endpoint do a no shut set my encapsulation and let's set an IP address of 192 16801 30 bit. Let's go over to R2. No shut it. Setting caption to frame relay. IP address 12168.0.2. And with that we're finished so let's just do uh, verification so let's do show our frame relay PVC status this one's active let's go over to 2 and check it status active and let's do final verification with a ping don't mean a thing if we ain't got that ping And there we have it. My name is AJ Cruz. I wish you happy studies and have fun with your brand new compound frame relay switch.